<laughs> hey guys, welcome to another Life the Chromies video. We are off camping, first trip of the year. We are heading to west this time. Russian Station, we are on the road. We've got a bunch of mates behind us, a bunch of good times planned. We have some really cool stuff. Stay tuned, something you wouldn't really ever see camping. We're gonna try out, so pretty bloody stoked. First trip of the year, I can't wait. Temperature is mint, the weather has turned it on for us, so let's go get it. Yeah, let's hope it stays that way. First trip of 2024, let's go. Ew! Bubbies. We're at Gosham Station today, guys. We have Tyrone here, good mate of mine. He has come up with this brilliant idea, something we've been talking about in the shed for a while, and we thought, what better weekend to make that idea come to fruition than the long weekend that we got right now. So we have a little Honda pump down in the creek behind us, and we have a 12 foot, 12 foot pool, 12 foot pool that we are going to shovel this area level. We're going to set the pool up. We also have the insides of a washing machine. Inside of a washing machine. Inside of a stainless steel drum of a washing machine. We've got some copper tube there. We're going to wrap around it. We're going to try and throw a fire inside that washing machine drum and have a heated spa. Yeah, that's it. We're, we're going to see how this thing works. <laughs> Start your bastard. Oh, we got a platform below you. That's lower than sea level. Hey, I feel some I feel pressure. pressure. I feel some pressure. We got pressure, quick, chuck it in the drink, f Yeah, all right, turn it off, bring it back up. All right, so we gotta get this thing lower than the sucker thingy. Let's just see if we get some water there first. Wait, it turns out this is hot when it's been running. Yes. No, no, we're done. We just we need to test it at first. All right. So, dude, that thing shoots real far. So, why don't we set the pool up on the top of the bank here, that on the rock, and just launch it and shoot it into the pool. We'll have a we'll have a mouthful. All right, we've done 12 seconds of work, so we've deserved it. Deserved it. Deserved it. Mouthful. Deserved. Deserved a drink. Jeez, maybe I don't need a beer. Hard work, Aaron. Yes. <laughs> Someone needs to build stairs on this. <laughs> Sorry. Someone needs to build stairs on this slippery slope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, that's not happening. I'm not doing that. <laughs> ah, don't even worry about it. Put us sit. Put us sit on the lumps. <laughs> well, we've got that perimeter of the pool frame happening. We're just putting the legs on. We are on super unstable ground, so. Uh, That's we'll see what happens. Let's get this thing. You put it on upside down again. <laughs> How did you take it off upside down and then put it back on upside down? That's it, that's it. Hey, I'm an instruction manual. <laughs> All right, so we built the pool, ready to pump it full of water. Digging away, why are you digging? I'm uh, building stairs. It's a bit slippery, so. Yeah. Thank you kindly, sir. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't fall. Yeah. I'm building this more for me than anyone. I am clumsy at the best of times. So if we can get down to the pump, get this set up, start spurting water back in, hopefully we get that thing filled up before sundown and we can have a spa bath tonight. Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
Here we are. <laughs> we got the pool set up. We are pumping the water in in a second. We've got it kind of dodged up down at the creek. We've got a little step in the bank, trying to keep the pump from falling in the drink. We've got ratchet straps everywhere. Hopefully, we can get this thing started. We can pump this up full of water and then we'll get the fire happening and we will make a crazy hot tub. It's gonna be fun, so. See what happens, let's get us going. I'm going down my stairs. Welcome to the Welcome. <laughs> this is our dodgy setup. We've got a shovel buried in the creek so it doesn't suck up sand. And hopefully this thing is gonna pump enough water to fill that pool up. So Tyrone, get ready, mate. <whistles> all right, let's hit it. Hey, all right. The RPM's up. We got pump. RPM. We got pump. They're trying not to make too much muck around that yes, inlet. Yep. Let's go, let's go. Watch the water come up, hopefully. Is it coming up there? The suction pipe there? Yep, yeah, we're coming up slowly. We're getting there, we're getting there. Come on, baby. Come on, so close. All right, we're on, we're on. Yeah! It's a boy! Yeah, good! Ah, <laughs> uh, unreal. All right, now what do we do for the next four hours? <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, it's going good. No, that does 5,000 litres an hour. And that thing is 5,000 litres. Oh, really? Yeah. All right, well, the sun's going to be down before we do it. This pool is uh, almost full, so we're going to go switch this pump off. It's getting late. Uh, it is almost at the top. Let's uh, let's switch it off. And what are you doing with your hands? Oh. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do with his hands. Let's switch it off. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit gross. Yeah. Looks like a crocodile tank. Yeah, but there's no crocodiles in it. Yeah, just me. It's one one red-headed fat guy. Good morning from our cozy rooftop tent. We had the best sleep last night, and this morning is stunning. The sun's just starting to crack behind us. Um, we've already been up and gone for a little walk. Tim and I are usually the first ones up because we're always the first ones to sleep too, but he's down there just getting a fire started. It's looking like the start of an awesome day. Look how green it is. For a gosh, station, but the actual campsite name, I think it's Diggits. Quite a large um, space down here, and we've got a spot right down on the water there too. It's got a bit of a rock ledge, so. We'll, um, we'll go for a little bit more of an explorer and give you a full rundown of what that site looks like a little bit later. What's for breakfast, babe? Uh, one pot skillet. I'm hungry. Yeah. Hungry! You don't want me hungry. Nice. <laughs> Gomi's kitchen this morning. We are cooking uh, a little bit of a one pan, one pot, throw it together. We've got eggs, bacon, a few bits and pieces that we uh, we had in the fridge. I'm just going to literally chop it all up, throw it in there, brown off the chorizo, the bacon, the onions, throw some cheese in it, uh, whisk up some eggs and throw them in. Hopefully that's a quick and easy meal. Haven't done it before, so hopefully it's good. <laughs> Beautiful. Look at that go. Bet you're hungry now. A little bit of cheese on there. One for the pot, one for me. Thanks for cooking brekkie. That's right. <laughs> Alrighty, how are we looking? Oi. This one's gonna be hot. That is beautiful. Nice and fluffy. Just what we want. Cheesy. Look at that goodness. Breakfast is on. Enjoy. It's a little bit cold up here. Got the fire going. That will hopefully uh, end up in that pool later. The fire's going to end up in the pool. The fire's going to be in the pool. Isn't that right, Tyrone? Putting the, putting the fire in the pool doesn't work. <laughs> Tyrone's still trying to wake up. Tyrone, <coughs> right. right, what have you made? Put some copper around the washing machine drum. Put this connected to the pool. Hopefully the water comes through, heats up with the fire. 
and self circulates back into the pool. So no pump, no pump, no pump. Physics, physics, physics. We're smart. <laughs> Little attacho, olive fitting the clamp onto the copper line. We've got the, the inlet and the outlet. On the sides, we might need to um, extendo these somehow because that's probably going to be too close. You want to just put a spare clamp on there just in case it doesn't clamp properly. We'll chuck some clamps on here and then I'll cut that log up to space drum higher off the ground. And we'll hook up the other side and kind of just work out where it's got to sit and then we can get a fly going, eh? Yep, sounds like a plan to me. Alright, I'll hold that. Hold your tongue in the right spot. Good. Right. I think we're on here, boys. I think we are. I think we're on. You pull that bung out. We're probably going to have water to fly through this tube. Yep. Like that. Okay. Yep. 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 There we go. It's full. Oh, yeah. Success. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to chuck this frame uh, around the fire pit. Some kids and some adults with beers. Adults with beer. <laughs> this is the weirdest thing I've ever done here. Being... <laughs> Going and it's working, but it's just not working well. So it's heating the water up and it's just really slowly pumping it through. But we're having issues with the high spots, using it to boil the water and just turn the steam. So it's basically splitting the steam out and pumping the water through. We cut this plant holding on and then we just push it down. Yep. We'll try and bend this bit up. Oh, yep. It's constantly hot, okay, that's but it's yeah. only like a little bit. We're going to find some falls, we're going on an adventure. Apparently there's, well, looking on Hema, there's probably three lots of falls and a couple of water holes we could go and have a look at today. Um, hopefully we can find something, I did see a sign on the way in, so we're going to go head that way first to try and find uh, Herbert River Falls, and if not... Just have a little explore at the station. Yeah, have a look at some other campsites maybe, check it out. Got to the top of the falls and good view. The trucks. You can hear them. This is awesome. It's like 270 degree views of this river. It's actually really sketchy. It like goes back underneath here. So we, uh, we just went out for a bit of a drive, got a heap of firewood, um, ripped up a bunch of, bunch of stuff for the chainsaw, threw it in the box in the back of the canopy, that thing's so handy. Uh, just cut them up into five, 600 mil lengths and we're gonna get a bit of a fire going, get some coals, we're doing a stew tonight. It's gonna be delicious. Yeah, I'm so keen. What's so going keen. On? It'll be chuck steak, beef, red wine, tomato, of veggies. Heaps of veggies, got some potato, carrots, Yum. garlic, onion, just big hearty meal to finish the trip off with. Yeah, easy one when you're camping, throw it all in a pot, put it on the fire and walk away. Nice yep. easy one, so let's get this fire going. Mm, let's do it. All right, what I'm gonna do is just sear it up first, get the outside nice and browned up, and then we'll cut her up, put it in the camp oven, a, a spun steel camp oven, a lot lighter. You rate it? I think so. We're still unsure. Verdict is still out. Stainless or iron? Yeah, what do you rate? If you cooked on both, what is your preference for camp ovens? Oh! Ha <laughs> ha, you found them! Oh. <laughs> Boy, nice. I okay. hit some treats in the freezer. Maxi bonds. Maxi bonds. Yeah, good. I'm just gonna pop this over on the hot coals. 
and then Tim, the fire chef, is going to take over. <laughs> fire chef, sure. All right. Say, hour and a half in. Hour and a half, yeah. Smells amazing. Got a little boil going. You say you topped this up a little bit earlier? Yeah. Or did it just reduce down too quickly? Yeah, just that wine reduced down pretty quick. That meat's looking really good though. Keen as. A little bit better than the pizzas last night, eh? <laughs> We're at Gosham Station this weekend. What campsite are we at? Uh, Diggits, I believe it's called. Diggits. Yeah. Diggits. Yeah. Yeah, it's the first time here. Um, I actually really rate it. It's massive, massive amount of water. Mm. Um, we're pretty much right on the water, still with a bit of elevation to uh, to stay away from it. Um, but large area here, the Diggits. We got what have we got? Six cars in here. Yeah, very comfortably too. Yeah, big setup with the uh, gazebo and that for shade. We got a little. Um, area for the swags and that, so. We got a pool. <laughs> we, we have a pool. We did bring a, a 12 foot full size pool for some reason. Um, look, it's a really good spot, nice and flat. You could get a little camper trailer in here, a uh, really good area. There's uh, a bit of a track down to the falls. We went and had a look at the falls this morning. That was pretty cool. Yeah, it's like really, 270 degree view. Yeah, over really, Herbert and falls, really is cool. It? Uh, yeah, something like that. We'll have to check that. We'll have something, to check something that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, beautiful, beautiful falls. Definitely worth a drive if you're ever up this way. Um, but good place for kids and stuff. It's, mm. it's really, really grassy. Uh, lots of firewood around. Uh, relatively easy to get in the full drive. Um, you could definitely bring a camper trailer to, to most of the spots that we've seen on the way yeah. in. Uh, we passed quite a few campsites and they all look very large and very accessible, so. Yeah, I guess the one thing, not a downfall for me, but what I would have loved is a, like a nice sandy beachy area to the water, which this site doesn't specifically have itself. It does have a bit of a, a rock out, but because of the recent rains, the level's quite high. There's a bit of a current, it's quite murky. So that's where our little, uh, not little, the 12 foot pool comes in handy this time because we're just jumping in there for a dip rather than actually getting in the water. We also haven't had much luck with pots this trip. We haven't had much luck with the yabbies, but the current is pretty fast. Yeah. So that can definitely play a part in that. Uh, we did manage to catch half a half a decent sized yabby, something it was maybe a turtle, something chewed something up by chewed, something. It, chewed it to pieces. But we haven't checked the pots today yet, so we have eight out, and maybe, mm. maybe if we're lucky enough, we can cook up some garlic butter yabbies tonight, mm. something like that, some red claw. We'll see. See what happens. Yeah, check it out. Diggits at Goshen Station. Mm. Worth a visit. Yeah, definitely. All right, so we. <laughs> Had a bit of a foul with the pool. We obviously haven't done it right. It is not working. It does produce a little bit of hot water, but it doesn't work properly. So we've only got four copper rolls around of the fire. We try to get the fire going crazy hot. We put as much coals and wood in there as we possibly could. We tried pumping the water through with a little 12 volt pump setup we had. While it was coming out hot, it just didn't work very well. And with a pool the size it is, uh, it was going to take days. We're on day two now. We've just decided to cancel the fire, pull it out. Yeah. It's not working, is it? We'll come back bigger and better, I guess. Come back bigger and better. It's cold. It didn't get hot. It's cold. cold. It's still it's a pool. Cold. No crocodiles. Yeah, they're going to jump in. Looks good? Yeah. Timmy says we're good to go. Topping up for a beverage for the night. She smells amazing. Yeah, it smells so good in here. What's it been? How, how many hours? Uh, I was have to check the clock. What are we at? We're at 6 30. Uh, three hours, 45 minutes. That's it. Yeah, it's been a quick one. Beefs, tender, potatoes are. Soft, but it is perfect. quite small though. Um, yeah, it's not a we're only cooking for two people, so uh, usually we would do a little bit bigger one, but that's good. Three hours, almost four hours, say. Um, really, really, really smells amazing. I wish you could smell it through the camera. Uh, but we're going to go enjoy this and wrap Goshen Station up. It's been an amazing trip. 
What do you reckon? Can we come back? We will come back. Actually, yeah, we've, we've got, already we've booked got, it. We've already actually booked in that slot. We do. We've got we've got campsite <laughs> five booked for a couple of, in a couple of weeks. In a couple of weeks. A couple, couple of months. months. Yeah. So we'll give you a review on campsite five at Gosling Station. Yeah. If you're keen to see it, keep an eye out for the video. Thanks, Thanks guys. Watching. Cheers. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Tyrone just looking at me in the background. Gordon Ramsay's kitchen. Hey, we are the two Stooges and we are camping. <laughs> nah. We are f***ing in the bar. <laughs> oh, I love land. <laughs> How you going, guys? Yeah. Microphone is nipples. We got it. We got it. Microphone's <laughs> nipples. I'm going to lose that. <laughs> You don't love pizza unless you put pineapple on it. Please tell me you're a pineapple on pizza lover. If not, I don't really know. You know what it would have been good is like, oh, it doesn't work, and then just get a knife and just slice it. <laughs> $200, you can do that. <laughs> I bought a $100 pool for $200, bud. Did you really? <laughs> yes. Oh, this is a hey. kid with adult money. I've checked all of Queensland. No hey. pools in Queensland. Ladies, Victoria, there's three. Single. <laughs> it is single. And shipping, too much. $200, cheap, bargain. How many things did we catch? Uh, we caught a lot of nothing. We caught, uh, we caught six zeros and um, uh, eight negative yabbies. So. Get out, go camping, enjoy your life. <laughs>